Uh, hello everyone, my name is Rejoice and I'm with my my colleague here, Yusef. We're going to do a presentation to you uh, on the two tools, two forensic tools. Uh, the first tool that we are going to do the presentation on is DD Rescue, then later on we are going to look on the treat, treat file identifier. So, uh, how we are going to do, how we have structured our presentation is like this. We are going to go first go through the slides to uh, try to understand the tools themselves before we train the, uh, the practicals, practically train them. The first one is DD Rescue. Uh, DD Rescue, let's try to understand what DD Rescue is and what it does. DD Rescue, it's, it's a software tool that is used to, to recover data. It copies data from one device, such as hard disk or CD-ROM, to another device, internal or external. It means internal or external meaning you can copy data from, let's say maybe you are using Linux, you can copy from SDA1 into SD2, SDA2. That's what it means, in internal or external. External, of course, you can use, do it through the internet or using the IP addresses or any anything that is compatible and try to rescue data in case of read errors or bad sectors. If you are having bad sectors in a disk, you cannot read it. It gives you errors when you try to read it. You can use this file to copy that file as it is without any truncations like written here or any cards. Then the, the your file will be outputted in the other on the other disk as it is. As you, as you expect it to be. Uh, how does it recover the recovery process as it is written in, on this slide it this this tool is fully automatic no need to wait for an error stop the program and maybe reverse mode to restart it all over again or something so automatically imaging of backups run did rescue when two or more damaged copies it does not affect it is not affected if you are running it in two copies or what you just open to you you open to to what do you call this the the commands for 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 linux what do they call it yeah what you type in the commands that one you, you open two of them if you are, if maybe you are going to copy it in from two cds or two disks then it will probably obtain a complete and error free file how the commands are is this is how the commands are first you have to activate the dd rescue in your let's say if you are using backtrack for like we are going to use backtrack for it's already it is already installed in backtrack for so you just have to activate it these are the commands that they are the ones that you are going to use you're going to use the first one and this one because due to time and space because of our uh, our presentation our video not supposed to be that big we're going to use this tool. We're going to try to rescue data from disk one, SDA one into SD two, SDA two, and with this new name as the backup image. There's the, the screenshot that we took uh, earlier when we tried the when we tried the tool, but these are the, the, we are going to get the very same results as this one. And later, like I said before, we are going to find the demo, demos afterwards. So for now, we are going to treat, try to understand treat, how it works, and then we do the demonstrations straight away. So now, let's look at treat file identifier. Treat file identifier, let's understand what treat identifier is. Uh, this is a program that reads a file and compares its structures with a number of known structures if any mesh alternatives will be presented. What this means is this, this tool depends on the database of three definitions. It has the definitions that are updated in a sequential manner. What it does is this. You, you'll be uploading or loading the file that you don't know the file extension. Either online, using online tree, typing in the command, or using the tree net, the UI version of the tree. Then automatically, from, the, from its files, it will find the alternatives, then give you in percentages what the suggestions or alternatives this might be, and like this, might, this is matching. In, the alternative match in percentages maybe 48 percent 60 percent then the higher the match you are going to get it means the higher the chance of that file being looking at the purpose of tree, tree like 
like I said, or like the name suggests, it's a file identifier. So how we identify files? It's through the, the help of database, like I said, of definition that describes recurring patterns of supported files. It is used to identify what kind of file was sent to you via email. Let's say maybe you are sent some file, sometimes you don't know whether it's a txt file, it's a doc file, it's a exe file or what. So this is the tool to help you. In the aid, of, in the aid in forensic analysis, support and file recovery, identify known files through the file extensions, like I said. And of course, it can, it, it, it does all this by reading the files from their binary, from their binary formats. Yeah. From the, I think we have this line, it's written, it reads the file from the binary. Yeah, reads the types from their binary signatures like we have done before in the previous tutorials whereby we are using hex hexadecimal that the the hexa tool to identify the the files from their binary from their binary structures so this is the tool that you can use if you don't want to use that tool as well and this is the screenshot of using the command line the the cmd command for tree oh before i will i go into the Onto the on, onto that one. These are the types of treat that you can use. If you are not familiar with the the CMD, the same description that I just showed, never mind. You can use the treat net. You have the alternatives. You can use online treat. The one that doesn't give you stress. You just to uh, plug and play. Just click and the result will be displayed for you. I like for this one for the user that you have for the CMD that you have to type in the commands. You have to know familiarize with the commands and know where the locations are. This one you just have to select, click, click, then you get the result. And for our case, we are going to demonstrate this one. The trade, the trade net. And if you have time, we will load. If you have time in internet, we will do the all the trade as well. Uh, these are the, the screenshots again we took when we did our, our test. These are the screenshots. We are going to get the very same results. We are going to get something like this. This is for trade net there's the online trade i took the i was using the one from um, what's the name what's the name um, never mind you get the name from the website that you're going to do it then you can get the link then try it at home if you have some file that you have problems with reading them we can always try that so in this time we're going to go straight away into demonstrations our demonstrations let's start with the tree that you just finished the the presentations on so three, we are going to first start with this. Uh, you have to have downloaded the tree itself. So mine is in the downloads. I want to get it in the downloads tree. You have to run the application. Mm, so, so look here. Before trying to browse through the file or doing anything, first guide through the see the, where the definitions are stored so that it knows where it refers you see as you see it is first written here it is written here that no definitions have been loaded which means it cannot even if you can load the file it won't give you results because there are no definitions to refer to so what you're going to do is this refer it in this case my definitions as well are in, in this file three three definitions yeah they just have to click on definition to to give to give direction where the where these are where, where where the definitions are kept. That's it. Loading definitions as you can see. Then definitely you're gonna get the yeah. As you can see, the number of definitions that you have in the memory, you have four thousand five hundred and fifty nine definitions. So with the update, depending on the update that you're going to have, obviously you're gonna have more more and more definitions with time with the updates number of depending on the updates that you do so since we have the updates let's try to let's try to load some file uh, in this case we are going to use the uh any media file like i gave example a that one we're using the, the same uh and i think i can find the, the i can find the file on my desktop let's use this one and try to see you see automatically displays with the result you have to click on the analyze and so these are the results. The the suggestion is that all the alternatives, these are the alternatives as as is stated in the in the slides here. 
the gen this line that is going to give you the alternatives. Mm. Yeah. This one. It's if any mesh alternatives will be presented, like there is a mesh in the Windows Media Player audio, Windows Media Video. As you as you all know that there's a, there's not much difference between audio and video of Windows Media. The difference is the size. So that's why the percentages are equal and everything is simple. So if if you double click on this, you are going to get this full complete definition of the of the file. Now we are having something that we have in our in our slides as well here. So here, that's what we have. That's what we have here. It gives you the file type, the file extension, that this is Windows Media Audio, and there's a file extension in relevance to the to the definition that are stored in this location. And how many files are, are has been scanned in these definitions? Then the two files has been scanned. If you have any remarks in case of forensic analysis, you can type in no remarks, then save it. Oh, and by the way, this is the guy that I'm using the input tool. This is the guy that, that uh, implement, uh, uh, has the right to this tool that I'm using. Let's see if we can try the, if you have internet, let's see if we can try the um, all light seed as well. This one depends on the speed of the internet. So if the, the internet speed is a bit is a bit uh, faster, we're going to get the result faster. But otherwise, you'll have to wait. Patience pays, as you all know. And of course, great things come to those who wait. And let's go definitely into our desktop. We choose the very same file and see if the results will be the same. You select it, then click Analyze. Automatically, it will do everything for you. So in the meantime, let's try this one again, the one because sometimes it takes time in the other one. The other one is very fast. So, we should finish this first. We'll see the results and compare them with the the Trinet, the GUI version of it. So, as it is still loading, let's go to uh, DD Rescue. This one you have to start on our backtrack four. Start on our backtrack four. Start on a better for for. So like uh, I mentioned, like I mentioned on the slide, uh, DD Rescue already is already there in the in Backtrack Four. I'm not sure about the about Backtrack Five, but I think it is there also. Though you might have to install some of the. the some of the tools to enable it. Like I heard one of my friends that he wanted him him to install it to enable the universe that he, he didn't know how to do it. But for backtrack four, you don't have any problem with it. I've tried it before, and I know it doesn't have any problem. So where you can find DD Rescue? DD Rescue is in the under the backtrack tools. You go to. Oops, you go to digital digital forensics and it's under it's an image acquiring tool so you're gonna find it here this is the digital screen these are all image acquiring tools it's here so you are going to get the shell for dd rescue so as soon as you get this shell it displays to you the options that you that you have to if you remember well in our slides we had this uh, I oppose and oppose. This is the start position in an input file and the start position in output file. Let's start on by activating my DD rescue. Like I said, you type in the apt get, get install. So install, install DD rescue. You see? As you see, it is installing reading packages with dependence system. This is already the newest version. You see? 
So we are we are sure that DD Rescue exists in our machine now. What we have to do is it's simple. Just go to the just run this run this command. DD Rescue. DD Rescue. Which disk we want to rescue? In this case, we are going to rescue our disk SDA1. SDA1, where do you want to rescue it? We rescue it, we are moving it. This disk is having a read, read errors, maybe due to some bad sectors. Who knows? We don't know. So, we are moving into the, the disk that has been, that is error free. Moving into disk SDA2. To then why not give it a new name? We are giving it a new name that this is a backup. It's a backup for uh, backup in. So this command is complete, like we saw in the in the slide. So because I don't have enough memory in my virtual machine, and I have even run it before to show you that screenshot. And like I'm, like you see, I'm rescuing a big file. I'm rescuing the whole hard disk. It's going to copy everything. As you know, the hard disk contains too much information. It's going to copy all that information to disk two, of which is going to be time. It's going. To, it will take some time, and of course, with space. So I don't have enough space with it. But if in case you want to, you're having serious issues. You want to really rescue your your your, your disk. This is the the same command that you have to do then. After writing this command, typing this command, just press enter. Then everything will be copied. It's automatic, like I said before. You don't have to do anything. Then, after that, it will show you that, like it, like we seen in the slide, you will you will find something exactly like this one. And like you see, the size is how the size are written. These are the opposite, the opposite I talked about earlier. I want to get something like this and. It will tell you the the rescue the the rescue the amount of rescue information the input and the output and stuff like that. So you just have to go to your file then rescue it and that's it. And uh, what's next? Yeah, it gives you the sizes and the sizes may be given in this and then, like you see now sizes are given in uh, in KBs. So yeah, that's it with DD Rescue. Let's go back and check if our uh, online tree is not yet finished. Yeah, lucky enough it's finished. And as you see, the, the author, definition author, the author of those definitions, um, his name is Marco Potello, the guy, the one that wrote the definitions. So this is the tool. Uh, these are the results. And earlier on we had these results. You can see, Still, we are having the same alternative match 48.5, 48.5, 3.0, Which means this tool they are doing exactly the same thing. If, in case you didn't know what what thing what that thing was, you will you will know now know that they, that's a Windows Media Player. Ooh, I mean, Windows Media. Either it's a audio or video. That one thing is equal. So, what is going to determine is that you are going to look at the size and try to uh, understand it. That obviously the audio is going to be less in size than the audio. So that's how you are going to get yours. Uh, uh, I think we have we have heard enough of the of the tools and that's it with the tools. You can go back home, try them like I said, try the, the rescue to rescue any information that you have. If you don't know any file, receive any file from your, your email that you don't know. Never mind, just go to this link. It's free. This tool also is free, but you, you might find uh, problems in downloading it, but it's free. You can always try online trading as you can do this. That, as you can see, the results are the same. So with that, thank you for your for your time and I think many more will come and we'll still, if you have time, we'll share with you. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video.